Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Subaru in Ewing, New Jersey to take a look at this. This is the all new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek. This is the premium trim in the crystal white pearl paint. We're gonna check this thing out today. See what Subaru has done with this Crosstrek for 2024. And should you be putting this on your list as a vehicle to check out when you're looking for that compact SUV. So let's dig in. All right, the front end on this Crosstrek with the crystal white pearl paint looking good. I love that against all the flat black on this redesigned front end. Subaru badge in the middle, LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights, LED fog lamps. We do have standard bulbs for turn signals. Love the new design of this Crosstrek's front end and it is a very good looking front end here. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. All right, wheel and tire package on this 2024 Crosstrek. We have a 17 inch wheel, gloss black with, uh, and silver. Nice design, nice sense of movement on this wheel. Standard brake and rotor package. We have the Subaru badge on the center cap. Now these wheels are wrapped in Yokohama Geolander. G91 all seasons, 225 on the width, a really wide 60 series sidewall, 17s, all four corners, all wheel drive. All right, full side profile on the 2024 Crosstrek. Loving the paint. That crystal white pearl looks great against the flat black. And the thing I liked about this redesign on the Crosstrek is it still looks like a Crosstrek. They've evolved the design so you get that Crosstrek vibe from past generations in this one. So it wasn't like a revolutionary design. They've evolved it. And if you look at it, you know it's a Crosstrek. Loving the proportions of the vehicle, I think are great. Now we have a little bit wider vehicle based on the, uh, the uh, brochures I've been reading on this and in talking with the dealership here. We're a little bit wider on the width, a little bit longer on the track of the vehicle. Other than that, it's pretty much the same uh, overall dimensions as the outgoing generation, but a great looking vehicle nonetheless. Love the white against the flat black. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Okay, moving on in. We do have that flat black cladding around the wheel wells to protect it if you're going off road. We have LED turn signals with this nice, it's not a gloss black mirror. It has this bronze look to it. I don't know if it picks it up on the camera, but it looks really nice. As we come down, we are color matched on the front and the rear door handle, more of that cladding on the back wheel well area, as well as down below on the door sills to protect it from the gravel if you're going off road. Fuel filler is on the right side of the car. Here's the roof spoiler. Then we have flat black on the roof rails with a flat black shark fin antenna. And then we have a standard style sunroof. All right, the rear end of this cross track looking good. Roof spoiler coming off the top. Wiper down below on the glass, Subaru badge in the middle. We have LED lighting in the back except the turn signals, which are standard bulbs. Subaru all wheel drive on the left of the tailgate. Crosstrek on the right, more of that crystal white pearl paint down below on the bumper against the flat black. And we have our exhaust coming out the right side of the vehicle. But again, a great looking rear end here on the back of this 2024 Crosstrek. We are under the hood of this 2024 Crosstrek. And what do we have for power? Well, we have a two liter naturally aspirated flat four engine made it to a CVT transmission. 152 horsepower, 145 pound-feet of torque, MPGs 27 in the city, 34 on the highway, 29 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get into the interior of this 2024 cross truck, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this vehicle cost? Well, MSRP for the 2024 Crosstrek Premium Trim before options is $26,145. Now, this vehicle has option package 14 for an additional $2,245. dollars 
That gets you the 10-way power driver's seat with two-way lumbar support, blind spot detection, rear cross-traffic alert system, automatic emergency steering, heated seats, wipers, and exterior mirrors, and a power moonroof. Now, you also have to pay an extra 405 for the mirror compass with home link, an extra 227 for the cargo cover, an extra 187 for the splash guards, an extra 164 for the rear bumper cover, an extra 150 for the LED upgrade, and an extra 141 for the all-weather floor liners. You add in 1,295 for destination and delivery. The total manufacturer's suggested retail price is $30,959. The dealer added wheel locks for an additional 153. So the total asking price for this vehicle here on the lot today is $31,112. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. The all season cross track floor mats are in the car. Those were the dealer added ones. Seats, we have the power seats for the driver with the two way lumbar manual assist for the front passenger. Then we have this nice interior fabric material, two tone, nice design, nice headrest, Nice bolstering, not too crazy. So a nice looking interior here on the premium trim. Door panel action, we have a combination of fabric and then hard plastic with some faux carbon fiber around the black door handle. Armrests, fairly hard, but it does have stitching on it. Flat black around the switch gear, nice large door pocket. So it's a, it's a nice looking interior. Obviously, if you want nicer materials, you don't need to move up in trims. We have soft touch up here more, hard plastic here more, the full, full carbon fiber there. And then we have a nice large glove box. One of the big changes for the 2023 is we now have Subaru's 11.6 inch multimedia system in here. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, dual zone climate control. You have manual controls here for your volume and your tuning for your music your four-way hazards up here and it's a dual panel so we can go up here and get different information on the top panel of this vertically mounted screen which is a really really nice feature one i really really like quite a bit and then in here you have your apps for everything you may need you can go into vehicle settings you can set up however you want to use the vehicle have everything set for you so it's really easy to use i prefer the the horizontal look rather than the vertical look let me know what you guys think but they do have the wireless carplay and android auto in here now which is a nice touch and then the middle right down there is the home button here's your dual climate control action right there if you want to change that you just have to push the button and up comes your menu and then you can slide it to warmer or cooler and then sync it in the middle or turn on auto. And they got you set here in this Subaru. So I like how everything works. I just wish it was more integrated, or excuse me, I, I prefer the, uh, the vertical display instead here. But as we get back to here, as you can see in this particular one, this does not have the built-in navigation maps. So all the maps will be coming through your phone here in the premium trim. Obviously, you can option in the multimedia system with the nav for an additional cost. As we move down further, we do see an aux jack, a USB-C, and a USB-A with a storage area. No wireless charging here in the premium trim. And then, and then our backup camera, we stick it in reverse. And we have a nice backup camera. I'll zoom in a little bit because it's a smaller one with trajectory looking good then you have your x modes up here on or off so we're going to click on x modes on and we'll take a look at those as we go through the vehicle but it is a nice backup camera just wish the display was a little bit bigger here is the gear shift that's going to take you through the eight simulated gears of the cvt we have two stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger electric emergency brake two cup holders and then we have a 12 volt down here. So that's a nice add. And then here is our new key fob, pretty much the same as the old one. Locked, the Subaru emblem is unlocked, pops the trunk and panic button 
and nice weight. And then we have our center armrest, which is could be softer. And then we open it up and we have a nice area for storage. Subaru steering wheel, nice soft touch steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches Subaru badge on the horn button. On the left, you have your telephone voice commands. And on the right side, you have your cruise control and your S and your I drive. Sportier drive, comfier drive. We have paddles to go through the eight simulated gears of the CVT. Then we can control our headlights and fog lamps. And then our windshield wipers on the right down below, brighten and dim the dash. And that's about it down there. As far as that stuff goes, we have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then here on the dash, we have that analog digital combo, analog gauges for your speedometer and tachometer, and then a small four inch display in the center, which will take you through other information on the top screen, which is a nice touch. The S and I drive, if you hit the S button or the I button, there will be a change in the digital portion. Now we're in S drive for a sportier drive. Now we're back in I. And then of course you have your X modes that you can turn on. Uh, and now if you have the X modes on, then you can't go S or I. So it's one or the other as far as that goes. But it's a nice, easy to read uh, analog digital combo. Let me know what you think about the dash in the comments. Overhead console. We have LED dome lighting in this premium trim. If you want the dome lights to come on off and open and close the door, you have this switch all the way over to the left on door. So then when you open the door, the lighting will come on. When you close the door, the lighting will dim out. Here's your SOS button in case you have an emergency on the road. And then we have our controls for our moonroof. So the shade is manual. And then you just have to hit the button and hold it for a second. And it's one touch open. And nice and easy, one touch closed. And it does have a tilt feature where you can tilt it up or tilt it back down. And then just close it up. Easy peasy, one, two, three. Sun visor with vanity and LED light, which is a nice touch. And then we have an extension to block out the side sun. Good job. Getting in the back seat of this 2024 Crosstrack, the seat is set for my driving position. So let's jump on in. Low bridge on the head. <laughs> Bump my head a little bit. Five foot 11. I got plenty of headroom once I get in, but there is a drop down right here. So you're gonna have to duck your head if you're a taller person. You have that same nice fabric all the way down. No seat pocket behind the driver, but a seat pocket behind the front passenger. In the back, we have a USB-C and a USB-A. Door panel action. Pretty much the same look, but there is a change in materials because there's no more cloth on the top. It's all hard black or hard gray plastic. As you can see, you have that two-tone look up there with the, with the fabric and the plastic. Here, it's all plastic in that gray color. The armrest, again, has some, some, some stitching and some soft touch, but it's pretty firm. And then you got the black on the door handle. So overall, a little bit change in design from the front. And there is no faux, faux carbon fiber uh, or in and around the door handle on the back door. So a little bit of cost cutting going on from Subaru here on the back door panel. As we take a look at the back seats, same fabric, same design, looks nice. Center armrest, nice and soft, two cup holders. So they got you covered back here in the Subaru, especially with the connectivity back here in the premium, which I do like. Uh, and the heat and air vents are underneath the front seats. But it's a nice place to be here in the back of this Crosstrek. Just watch your head getting in the back. Rear cargo area here in this new Crosstrek. Pop the tailgate from the key fob, or you can come to the back and right underneath that Subaru emblem, there's a button. Push it and lift up. Nice and easy to lift up, no electric assist on the premium trim, and there we go. Nice amount of storage, just like the previous generation. Here are the carpeted floor mats to say cross trek, which is nice. You got your all weather cargo mat back here. And then underneath here, we do have a spare with a jack, so thank you. We have some extra storage with some tie downs. On either side, we have lighting here in the back as well. And then if you wanna get those seats down, again, just as easy as the uh, older one, just push them up, throw them down. Pull this up, push them down, and now you have all that extra room back there for those larger items. Again, and really nice use of space and practicality here in this Crosstrek for 2024. All right, window sticker action on this Crosstrek. We're gonna zoom on in, let you see all the action. 
on this cross track. Let's take her out for a spin. All right, so we are on the road in this 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Premium Trim Action. And obviously all wheel drive, all Subarus are. Now, <clears throat> great visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirrors, and rear window. No problem there. Subaru has updated the EyeSight technology in here to give it a wider view. And also, they at lower speeds, they have gone ahead and gotten the cyclist detection action going, as well as pedestrian action going on the EyeSight for additional safety. So that's a good deal. Driving wise, I, you know, it drives very similar to me as a 2023 however this is a quieter cabin Subaru has made adjustments with some chassis tuning with some uh, suspension tuning as well as critical sound deadening in areas of the car to make the cabin quieter now is it a real quiet cabin like isolated quiet no but it is definitely quieter than the outgoing 2023 drives nicely gets up to speed easily the CVT transmission here with those eight simulated gears those simulated gears keep the engine revs low so the drive line is quiet it handles very nicely nice and direct nice and light nothing too heavy nothing too overly sports car focused it's just a nice uh, steering experience, handling experience. I mean, they have added the uh, the dynamic headlights here as well. So in the dark, when you are uh, driving down the road, as you turn the vehicle, the headlights will turn with you to uh, brighten up the area of the road that you're turning into, which is a nice deal as well. You also have the evasive steering assist in here as well. So they have given you some nice features in this Crosstrek. Uh, and improved features in the Crosstrek. What I like about the exterior design is you know it's still a Crosstrek. So you don't have to worry about that action at all. It's still a cross track, still looks like a cross track. They didn't go crazy with the design. They evolved the design over time. I love what they've done with the front end. I love what they've done with the just slight changes around the exterior of the car to just refer, you know, bring it up to the modern look, make it look a little bit nicer, make it look a, a little bit more modern, but it's still a cross track. Still looks like a cross track, still drives like a cross track. And it's just a really easy car to drive. And that's what I like about the Subaru Crosstrek. There is no mystery behind this car, right? It is designed to be that everyday subcompact uh, SUV or lifted car, if you want to call it that, not an SUV. That's going to haul you and your passengers and your gear around wherever you want to go. This all-wheel drive system is going to take any kind of conditions to get you through what's needed, uh, depending on what where you live and what time of year it is. They are going to take care of you there as far as all that goes. So it's just a great all-around, everyday car to get you and your family around wherever, wherever you need to go and in all conditions. You got your X mode action, you got your SI drive action. So they got that all set up for you, nice and easy. 
so I really, really am enjoying this drive in this cross track. It's a nice car. Just a really nice car. We're going to come down the road here, make sure I have nobody behind me, and, we'll, and then we'll do an emergency stop once we get past all these school buses coming out. And here we go in three, two, one. Yeah, nice and easy. Stopped on a dime and gave you a change. No pulling the wheel. Now we're going to put it in S drive and we're going to take off. we go nice and easy not crazy this isn't a super fast car this isn't a sports car but this flat four engine gets you up and moving those simulated shifts are working well to get that quiet down the drive line so it works it just really works as a great everyday car and there's there's not much else you can say about about how that is it's just a really easy car to drive and get and get along with. Let me know what you guys think about the new action here with this infotainment screen. They got away from the smaller screen with the dual panel up here, and now they've got it all under one. Let me know how you feel about that. Let me know if you like it, dislike it. This has obviously been in other Subaru models. Now they're bringing it into the Crosstrek for 2024. It's an upgrade, no doubt about it. The question becomes, do you like this upgrade or did you prefer the older setup? I like the fact that we have the heated seats. We have our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. That is a big, big upgrade for this car. We have USB-C and USB-A action. So they got you covered there. So you don't have to worry about getting adapters because you know some cars still just only have USB-As. So they got that action going for you. Uh, they, they really did a nice job here on this premium trim and you know the fabric seats are really really nice too and obviously if you want nicer stuff you can go up in trims and we do have five trims for 2024 in the Crosstrek this is one up from base but you can also go with uh, a limited trim and the all new trim for 2024 which I can't wait to get my hands on the Crosstrek Wilderness Trim, which is going to be hot, hot, hot. So as soon as the dealer gets one of those in, I'll be all over that. No doubt about it to check out the Crosstrek Wilderness. But for a economical car that's not going to break the bank, 31 grand in today's world is not gonna is not a hugely expensive car. The average price of a new car in the United States today is forty five thousand dollars, and this is thirty one MSRP. So it is a value offering in this segment, without a doubt. And look, we're up on the highway. I didn't even notice it. It was so easy to get on the highway in this thing. And now we're cruising along. I got my blind spot monitoring going off, telling me there's a car coming by, and don't move into a different lane. Now it's gone, so I can go ahead and get over. Passing speed, no problem. And now we're up on the road, just balls to the wall, no issues. So Subaru has done a great job with this 2024 Crosstrek. Crosstrek was all, already a really good car, and they just have just made it that much better. They have fine-tuned it. They've made it look better. They've made it drive better. They've made it quieter. They've given it more tech. They've given you more options in the lineup as far as trims. They've added the wilderness trim. They did a lot of great things with this car, and I was so glad that I was able to get, one, get a hold of one of these early to give you guys an idea what this 2024 Crosstrek is going to bring to the table. But you know what? Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this 2024 Crosstrek is the way to go in this. Or are you going elsewhere with your hard-earned hard -earned money? Leave it in the comments section below. But I want to thank Sioka Subaru here in Ewing, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Premium for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you 
on the rebound. Take care, everyone. Look at this. Look at this bonus action. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. S curves. Woo! Yeah. Catch you guys on the next one.